Hello, happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to Two Point County and Two Point Campus. And here we are. Please let me know how my sound levels are, as usual. I've been playing a couple different games lately, so I need to make sure that settings for each game sound good. like the lovely castle where we've been building our latest university. Let's go ahead and load things up. <laughs> Noblestead. Preserve the traditions of knighthood and defend your campus from the local competition. We are in year three. No stars yet. So let's see what kind of a state I've left this place in. Besides uncertainty, which is a given. At some point, I'm sure we'll have some kind of theoretical physics department worthy of our name, but not yet. jobs for janitors around campus. Okay, we can get some more janitors. Ah, we're in summer break. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. So it looks like we've got some room to expand, but we already need another jousting field and another lecture theater. So... Let's go ahead and work on what we absolutely need. And the jousting field is outdoors. We have to cut out this rose garden. Hello, dragon. <laughs> I love the animatronic dragon. It's so cute. Can we put another jousting field? We may just have to expand into a new area. Eventually, we'll be able to surround this entire little castle on the hill here. Looks like. We've got these nice little garden spaces, though. Cut out the pickleball cords. I kind of feel like doing that for now. So do we want... Oh, we don't have the money for with buildings. We could just get a loan. I wonder what buildings it would give us. Oof. Let's take a small loan and see what this would give us with the buildings. Because we kind of want a lot of outdoor space here. Students are reminded to find themselves. We can always tear it down later if we have to. outdoor stuff going on. Let's go with empty. We'll just have a little more cash on hand to build what we need to. <laughs> Poof. 
No pickleball. That's way too modern for this place. Uh, we've got a over full student lounge. We can fix that later. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm DJ Shorts, bringing you small batch homegrown radio with the pulp left in. Here's a musical palate cleanser that's sure to wash that pre-digested rubbish out of your ears. See if you can taste the difference. The campus is expanding, even more than usual. Okay, we've got another jousting field. We can upgrade night school. What else is available here? A lot of the stuff we've done before. We could just upgrade night school. have a whole lot of money left though, so I'm kind of inclined to just go with this for now. Skills are non-transferable. Let's give you all another student lounge over here. We can maybe plan to turn this into another dorm. This corner back. That will do for now. And what high attractiveness. The knights demand shrubberies. on that while all this other stuff is happening. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. People are getting showers during summer. Probably good for us to actually let things run for a while. Give them a break. Yeah, things are actually happening. Janitors are coming in and cleaning up messes and Unclogging toilets. What are you up to? Are you actually going to the shower? Weak bladder and a suit of armor. Well, no wonder you need a shower. Interesting. And clearly they're able to satisfy some needs while they're in the summer. I want to talk about an actor by the name of Roderick Cushion. Now, if you listen to popular thinking, you'd think, now there's a guy who's given up on his craft. There's an actor that would literally do anything for the next paycheck. And sure, I can see how you could think that. But you'd be completely missing the point. When Roderick Cushion decides to do yet another truly terrible film, he's making a statement about the nature of commercial cinema. Thank you, Mr. Cushion, for fighting the good fight. Welcome to the start of a new year. I'll be your host. Hello. Okay, we need better accommodation for a few well, more students. students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Finance a bit. Now taking students for night school. Mm -hmm. 
should do it. item unlocked. Artillery! Well, it's not a cannon, but it'll do. Hang on, hang on. We've just completed the research project. Well done. Huzzah! What else? We can upgrade our various combat training stations and our Dragon Tower Royal Dummies. A knight is only as strong as their dinner conversation. Okay, well let's let's go for that because that's a starting level thing. This place needs a trebuchet. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's start this. Now where is this artillery? Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. There we go. <laughs> artillery sure to escalate any situation. There, <laughs> we have a cannon. <laughs> or at least as close as we can get. a romantic film. Sure. We've got a music review for you now. Over to Muggy, who's been to see the Boogie Nights. Uh, you want a student lounge party? Let's see. That's right. I went to the uh, Boogie Nights October. concert and it was great. The lights, the dancing, and so on. If you like music, this really was music. I do think the campus could do with some better signage, though. <laughs> I mean, I almost missed the concert, and this segment could have been a real train wreck if that had happened. Very cuticle from, from the you. old documents. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Health Inspector Henry Jobsworth is worried about a rise in cases of Knight's Knee in the county's night school students. Can help treat the problem, we'll receive some additional funding. Tier 3 students with knights and need, okay? Ah, yes, and you actually want the prince dummy, so. So, we're already working on that. <laughs> Boxing gloves are a nice touch. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. All right, let's actually do the smart thing. Go back out to the map. Can we save recording the map. Yes. Because we can do the same thing that we did in Two Point Hospital. We can research stuff at other campuses. So if we went back to, say, Mitten University, they should have research. And hopefully I wasn't too cavalier about leaving the place in a terrible state when we got our last star. I have done that on occasion. Yeah, it 
it's summer here as well. Robots should not be left unattended. So let's just stay here long enough to research what we need. Where is our research room? I think it was up on this side-ish. We got robots, we got more robots. There we go. Ah, uh, you are researching another training pod, so we'll, we'll let that run. You want DJ Sous Chef? Sure. Make it our Halloween party. I'll watch anything as long as there's popcorn. There will be popcorn on there. Sci-fi film. Okay. Let's put it in late November. Not have it at the same time as the party. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. Okay, let's go. The academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil. <laughs> We don't even have like a student store for people to buy pencils. Students should check in before trying to learn. Now taking students for robotics. Ah. People are falling in love. We got people working on stuff. We got staff members ready for training. Um, not a whole lot of space to train them in. But as we've seen, it's good to have multiple people queued up for it because people will use the room when they have time. It's not research. Where's, where's research? Where did I leave it? It's kind of a dorm room. Got a computer lab over there. I don't remember where any of my stuff is. Oh yeah, we got more training rooms over here at least. There's a research hub. Okay. What are you working on? Training pod three. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms, narrating your coming of age story in all its awkward post adolescent glory. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Cancel this project. Now. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? Ah, but, but we need a staff with night school here in order to research that. And there's no one on the list unless we were to start actually offering night school here. So that actually doesn't work too well. That could be useful for things that we are teaching in multiple places. Well, I'll, I'll play with that later. I keep thinking that's the map. So let's go back to the map. Let's, let's keep on researching things in-house.
Okay, we've got an invasion in progress. No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Hopefully our janitors are on the job. Looks like they just got here. Oh, there's the romantic movie. <laughs> Announcement. Intruders on campus. Oh no. Here I am. Huzzah! Let's make sure we have enough people for these rooms. Also have enough people who can do research. Someone getting treated for his knight's knee. You dealt quite elegantly with my knights, alas! Still, they'll be thrilled at the chance to improve. Huzzah! Princess and Prince dogs. Oh, but royal dummies should cover all of those, I think. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. <laughs> We definitely need more attractiveness. Welcome in, it's DJ Shorts on Campus Radio, keeping it short. And keeping it sweet. On to this show, I'll be telling you the six ways to get the most out of your winter coat. But first, let's cook up something tasty in the music microwave. If you cannot handle the heat, what are you doing in the kitchen? Let's go! Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Other things we could unlock. Just kind of a wild zone. Oh, these are potent. You can use these in other places.
Plant these along the edge. That's good. Expecting some rust issues on campus. Well, of course, we've got all these knights in armor. Probably should turn our attention to indoors. Still need your prince dummy. Open day went well. Book club bookcase one. We don't have enough kudosh yet. Rust issues. Ooh, nothing strikes fear into a night like a forecast for light rain. Knights suffering from rusty bulge need treatment in a medical office. Okay. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative purposes. Well, we've had enough cinema events. We have had enough students move into our dorms total. That should give us plenty of kudosh to work with. We want to book plug bookcase. And this has to go somewhere. Well, let's put it in this kind of new dorm zone. <laughs> what about a metal shop? Where's Dorothy's oil can? Wearing a bureaucrat's t-shirt the other day, man. Uh, great show, great show. So I go up to him and I say, Nyoza! And he just stands there, staring at us, like I'm the mad one. Listen, fella, if you didn't recognize a quote, let alone a classic from season two, episode 12, the Admiral Fuzzy Niggers All Nighter, then you didn't get to wear the t-shirt. He's a song for people who do know their quotes. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Okay. A thousand new friendships. Encourage your students to socialize by hosting events, providing social spaces, and placing relationship items. Every dis student deserves a witness to the highs and lows of their time on campus because no one remembers your most embarrassing moments quite like a, cl a close friend. Aww. Oh, looks like we've totally completed that one. Unlock four staff customizations. All right, well, maybe we'll work on that later. Blaggard visit results. Lord Blaggard was very impressed by his visit to campus. There are signs that he's even a little worried that we're better than him, as he's having his nights practice around the clock. Horse maintenance all day, sonnet riding through the night. What a life. Ooh, sounds like college. If you hear this, please drink some water. See if we can get another assistant. We have excellent personal hygiene. We'll be good to work anywhere, I guess, since we've already got staff coming in here. Here's our book club bookcase. Look at that. Prince Dummy. It's interesting that he's sending his over his knights, who are presumably students, but are fighting them off with janitors. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Alright, so let's put in... Let's see. Her Majesty's Memorial Training Grounds is where we are putting in... We've just completed a research project. Prince well Dummy. Done. Terrible company. Okay, well, let's put you over here. Princess Dummy. Don't call her that. <laughs> we'll put you on the other side. These don't look too different from the ones who are built into the structure, but... We'll, uh... We'll make it work. And now, here's another student story about a little supermarket that could become a little supermarket that's closed. Hugh, over to you. A 
Over the years, Crumley Supermarket has fed countless students all over Two Point County. None more than Crumley's flagship store, right here in Duckworth. Sadly, no amount of coupons or discount fish is going to save the store this time. No, after failing their third inspection of the week, this much visited market will be closing its doors. As I sit here, riding the mechanical pig one last time, I can't help but think of all of the good times. The end of an era, that's for sure. Education is non-refundable. Boogie Nights poster. Cover art from the funk-loving metal men Boogie Nights. Well, that would kind of fit here, but I don't want to spend kudosh on it. You know what? We should start another research project. Better Omnicure. Improve our health clinic with some tweaks to our machinery. A bandage here, a lolly there. It's got to help somehow, right? Would campus intruders please not come in? We get a pantomime Princess Margaret for the training fields. Well, we we placed a, a princess. Let's get some more decorative items in. Guess a love trumpet counts as decorative. Go in. Oh, can't go in there. Put it over here. Yes, we can. It's fluctuating a bit just because sometimes the uh, janitors need to come around and pick things up. Decorative stuff could be put in here. Line graph. Look at this graph. It's pretty cheap. Oh, yeah. Reminded that some grades are personal. That helps. I want this student lounge. That needs some decor for sure. Ooh, that poster, that kind of works. Got a fantasy vibe. painting. It's a little too modern. Nice rug. Dealt elegantly with the knights. Huzzah. We are an impenetrable wall of academic tenacity. Those invaders didn't stand a chance. Did anyone even notice them? I certainly didn't. How embarrassing. Potted tulip. Check this out! Isn't it herbaceous? I want a potted tulip. The okay. Is reminded to stay hydrated. Put it right next to the love benches. Maybe we'll scatter some more places that could use some touching up. Jumbo McNally. At a Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. Mm. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. Other student lounges that can use some work. This jousting ground needs some sprucing up. Uh, 
let's make sure we've got people training. Maybe get people their next level in night school. of first aid. Teacher Naughty Sovereign has completed training in night school too and has been promoted to senior teacher. Congratulations. Okay, uh, let's add more stuff. Fire pit. So hot right now. Standard. Your typical one of these things. Or less. Standard. Oh, no, no. That's gonna be a little off. Today's show, some of you have got in touch to ask how you can have really cool original opinions like mine. So I'm gonna tell you about a little technique that I like to call plain devil's advocate. What you do is you take a popular, universally agreed upon opinion and flip it on its head. Boom! You've got yourself a really cool original opinion. Take toilets. You might think they're great, necessary even. Whereas I think they're a little passe. Janitor required in bathroom. It's all well and good, sir, but I defy you to come up with a better alternative. drive a taxi but everything is totally mad what was that called crazy taxi yes a bit expensive but we'll put one here frequently asked questions no your chicken should not be pink there we go everyone's happy everyone loves the book club I kind of need to expand these rooms a bit. It's such a nice little reading spot. are very effective, though they do need watering. What kind of decor is available for the library? Meet wizard promotion. Alright, nice to meet you. Don't touch the hat, okay? Actually, add any attractiveness. University 
gives you a bright future and clients in debt. What's the wall theming that looks like an old Windows pipe screensaver? What, this thing? A geometric canvas? Seemed a bit modern for this place, but it looks good. Wow, now that I look at it, yeah, that's even more 3D than it looked in the menu. All it needs is the teapot at certain junctions. potent foliage out here. <laughs> you want your Disney screensaver back? Oh man. I don't suppose you'd be even be able to get that work to work these days. Oh, someone's fighting a dragon. not been watching students grades at all there anyone okay all right let's send you to private tuition people are doing pretty okay as a baseline Stabby, why can't you just use one of the other ones? There are some YouTube videos, but of course they can't be configured to select how messy Donald is or which of Geppetta's clocks. Oh yeah, that would, Intruders on campus. Oh, no. that would be a hail substitute. Okay, what next? Let's go for... Better Dragon Tower. That would be rather spectacular. Ricky Hawthorne. Unlocks both of those. Wow, all right. Good day, I'm Ricky Hawthorne, and welcome to the show. On my drive-in this morning, I was speedily overtaken by a car full of whippersnappers, pipsqueaks, and good for some things. I couldn't tell what they were chanting, but it certainly did look like fun. <laughs> so today, only partly because I've got nothing else planned, I thought I'd pay tribute to those young people by telling you a few stories from my glory days. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. Let's get some more food spread around campus. Graduating or continuing, good for us. Everyone loves the book club. We've got a good contribution to research. Campus of the Year Award. Huzzah! Now here's an interesting question. Will any invaders be caught during the summer? The clock is paused. Yes. The 
developers of Meat Wizard were really happy with the recent promotion. They wish us a gravy-soaked day and hope we got that t-shirt they sent us. Didn't. Okay, invasion dealt with. We've got loads of course points. So we could expand our offerings, or we could just make night school better. Yeah, let's just make night school better. We've just completed a research project. Well done. Okay, so we need another teacher. And we need another battleground, which we could stick out here. Let's try and make this one really nice looking so we can copy it and then it'll be... in a good position to help us. That looks pretty good. There you go. And really, I just need to make the place look better. We've definitely got some places where janitors need to come in and fix things. There were also some long queues in this room. So I think I'm going to expand it a bit. spent my formative years, I was born, bred, and buttered right here in Two Point County before attending what was then called Two Point University. I think it's still called that now, but it was then too. Right, top draw anecdotes coming up, but first, here's another tour tapper. Tuition fees are expensive, and education is priceless. Here we go. Queen of Clubs Award, thank you. All right, seriously though. Let's just get some more flowers down. These are especially potent. that can go in here. Can you put a circuit board in here? That's cute. Getting very close here. Students are reminded to set reminders. <laughs>
Purple Man poster. How are we doing? Problem is the game lists direct food. Them. Sometimes simple living is happy living. Don't get me wrong, I'm incredibly lucky to eat a wide range of things nowadays, from chicken sandwiches to pastas of seemingly infinite shapes and lengths. But I'll never forget that time at university when I lived off an enormous block of cheddar. I was said to be mostly cheese by the end of term, and you know, I think they were right. What else can we do? I kind of like this double sided bench things. They add to attractiveness? Not really. But once they're there, it makes sense to put things next to them. truths. Give things a natural look here. Ah, oh, here we go. Warning stupid questions will make you look stupid. Well, I think it may be time to bust out the golden thrones. go. Noblestead, huzzah, good cheer, and so on. Though I should stress this is just about as poor as an establishment can be while still receiving one of our rather snazzy brochures. How terribly efficient of you. Ooh, we got a nature club stand now. We've unlocked Spiffenmore, a new campus, in Fluffborough, and a topiary, a shrubbery. All right, let's keep going. What's our next goal? Win the jousting tournament. Hi, I'm Jumbo McNally. At a Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Now taking students for night school. Okay, we are Gonna need more dorms. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. 
Yes, 13 students would like better accommodation. All right, we're gonna need a new dorm building. Let's stick it, oh, yeah, let's stick it over here. Jousting tournament. Host a jousting tournament to celebrate the tradition of knighthood, test your skills, and watch students clatter into one another. It's not to like. Alright, yeah, let's schedule it. Let's put it near the end of the year and we'll repeat it. Oh, we can't repeat it every year. Very well. Good couple of dorms. Well, I don't have a whole lot of money to work with. a bit more money. Let's keep on. In fact, if the issue is just needing more beds, we could put many beds in one dorm. Some friends and I headed north on a fisherman's pilgrimage to Tumble. I tell you, there's no freedom like it. Just a group of mates, their matching bucket hats, and a case of antique fishing flies. Pure bliss. Uh, you want a student Security lounge reach. party? Please change your passwords. Sorry. Yeah, we can we can have one of those. Dragon Tower, okay. How are you all doing? A lot of frosh who don't even have their initial grades yet. up the lowest few. Students are reminded that I'm not your mom. Okay, we've got some more money now. We can expand the dorm. far in debt. We need a level 5 battleground jousting field and medical office. Okay. Students That's a 3. Are that this, is the fun part. this one would be relatively easy to expand. It's 
Move it over here. Here I am, huzzah! Let's actually move this over here. Center that a little better. There you go. It may come as a surprise to some of you, but the young Hawthorne was something of a prankster. <laughs> yes, once at school, the gang and I bought several thousand soft drawing pencils and, in the dead of night, swapped them with our school supply of much harder standard issue pencils. I only wish you could have seen the look on Mr. Featherbridge's face when he tried taking registration the next morning. <laughs> oh, the man was lit. Unfortunately, two of the boys were expelled for breaking and entering. <laughs> Don't trespass, kids. Oh, good grief. So at this point, I just need to make this room more prestigious. Windows help. There we go. Got a fair amount of kudosh. Sight out of mind. Maybe this prestige a good bit. There we go. Level five. A student union for that. All right. Boogie nights. Announcement. Plants need water. Jousting field is only rank two, so we must have a. Oh yeah, His Majesty's new pounds is high prestige, so we'll have to beef up our jousting room in a bit. But first, let's put in a student union. Got invaders coming in groups of six now. It's a nice big room. After student union, we can now bring in the Boogie Knights. The Two Point Squabbler de described the Boogie Knights as the funkiest knights that Two Point County has ever seen, and while that's wildly speculative and totally unprovable, it's also hard to argue with. 
I want to stress that I don't think a young person's life is all fishing trips and A-grade hijinkery. No, no. I also took a great deal of substance from the many mentors and role models in my young life. I'll never forget the professor who took my Introduction to Advanced Thinking course at university. He once told me, Ricky, I don't think you'll ever understand what I'm saying. And he was right. <laughs> a very wise man, that one. Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. So we can put a good bit of stuff in this room. Jousting bleachers. Oh, yeah, we gotta make this place fit for spectators, in fact. Probably want to put the main venue out here. Okay, new project. We better focus on the jousting track. And we can upgrade our dragon tower. Education is non refundable. What's the schedule of this room? Jousting field two. Okay, once this class is over, I'm gonna pause the game work on it. Henceforth, the big one will be where we put the events. Night school class, meeting your horse. Uh -huh. Alright. Everyone has cleared out. Let's work on this place. First of all, let's expand it heartily. Move the entrance here. Close the door. Okay, let's clean that up a bit. Okay, festive tent, renaissance flare. Wow, I can set them up diagonally. Okay, let's move these. Actually, let's get rid of these for a sec. Chandler needs to come in and deal with this nonsense. Uh, okay. Items. Jousting bleachers. He's on horseback and I'm on the bleachers. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to slay that dragon. This flag. Go away for now. This we'll pick up and put here. And kind of opposite the festive tent, we'll put this food and some other things. Oh, we're already rank five. Excellent. However, round table. This rack, let's give ourselves some more. Artillery, in case of invaders. Nice weapons rack over here, another nice weapons rack. Lay down your swords and various pointy things. Archery kit quivers with excitement. Got our 
chairs. We've got and then we'll stick this in this corner. Looking good. Oh. Ooh. A proper banquet table. And whoever's stuck in the pillory can just be off in the corner. Huzzah! There we go. Now I wonder, can we schedule a jousting tournament for in here? Put it in April. And the one that was going to be over here... Not this one. Perfect. Go! Thanks for joining me on a lovely walk down memory lane. Before we go, I just wanted to remind you that glory days aren't just for the young amongst us. In truth, there's no way I'd rather be even here with you at Two Point Radio. Today's show was sponsored by Bungle Kitty Litter, the litter tray that'll make your critters day. It doesn't matter Where are janitors? how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Oh dear. Get another janitor. Maybe you can clean this place up before the tournament. Blackguard thanks us for a fine and pleasant visit. He said that he must have you over at his place sometime, but of course he didn't arrange anything to concrete. Typical. Open day report. You want a romantic film? Absolutely. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Can't afford another student union party at the moment. for one training dummy. There's dummies all around the center there. There's plenty for everyone. Maybe I need more standalone dummies. An old punching sack. Center that won't do. More blackguards knights have invaded the campus. Security. Intruders 
on campus. You know what to do. This medical office is busy. People can go to the one over here. It's better anyway. Desperately need tutoring, as do you and you. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Medical care. Oh, look at that. Full tournament colors. Knights lay strewn across your campus. A supine testament to your triumph in the joust. Huzzah! So we won the tournament. Lord Blaggard challenges us to have people in love on campus. Very well. We have defeated Lord Blaggard's knights and been crowned glorious super champions of the great joust. Huzzah! Huzzah! places for people to form romances. You're listening to Campus Radio, the sound of student life in Two Point County. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms. Now, everyone has been talking about the campus supermarket and their brand new frozen treats, but we'll be wading through the fudge Look at the story of two students crushed under the weight of free toppings. Stick around. <laughs> University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. I'm going to call this jousting field the Grand Tournament Field so that I can distinguish this one from the others when it's time to schedule the bets. Is everyone? Guess we need some more teachers. Comes faster than most. Go. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. Let's make sure we give research skill to another teacher. We don't want research being bogged down because we don't have enough people to do it.
Now, some people were a little desperate for the toilet a while back. Our finances, ooh, out of debt, excellent. Training people. There is growing concern about the flowers on campus this autumn. Where have they gone? Why aren't they here anymore? Didn't there used to be flowers over there? These are just some of the many questions posed by concerned, botanically inclined students. Pinned for comment, the lead groundskeeper referenced the seasons. <laughs> of course, I went. Asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. I went to a school where we didn't have seasons so much as it's hot or it's very hot. Ah. I think that dragon tower is a little more spruced up than it was before. But yeah, we've got some lecterns that can be upgraded. It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you haven't noticed. This can be upgraded. Looking good. So, 20 graduating, 57 continuing. Everyone still loves the book club, it's all we've got. Bosworth Thump did training this year, very good. Campus of the Year Award. Gotta win another couple jousting tournaments. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. See, the number of students on campus will change at the start of each new year. Run new courses, upgrade existing courses, and commission marketing campaigns to increase your number of students' applicants. Okay, let's manage our courses. Okay, let's become even better at night school. Schedule the jousting tournament for April. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Ah, yes, plenty of people. Is anybody academically struggling? A few of you. It's time for the story of two students who are finding news of the campus supermarket's new ice creams difficult to swallow. That 
That's right. Ben and Sarah used to go out to the green, their hearts full of gumption, their cool box full of lollies. But it's not been the same since Campus Supermarket opened its Sunday bar and shaved ice station. They were just a couple of students looking to make some honest money in the harsh summer heat. But business has cooled off lately. As for the lollies, well, they're melting now. Spare a thought for them the next time you're enjoying a fudge sundae, buy one get one free all day, Wednesday, at the campus supermarket. Fliss, back to you. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Squiring in the field. gotta do is win another couple of tournaments and repel these seven invaders. Guard the cannon. Don't let them take it. You knocked over a janitor! <laughs> gotcha. Aha! We have unlocked a better jousting track. Focus on that. And we'll upgrade this one first. Make sure that one gets done before we queue up any others. That's the one for our tournament, so we gotta make sure it's really good. Dear, you are sad. Mostly just because you need. You know, you're a, you're a very good student, but you're sad and tired. only one way to fit everything in. Make your life Jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Let's make sure everyone has space for resting. Blackguard has been complaining that our campus is an eyesore. Alright. There's a fly in here. Hmm. I thought we were at least at 60%, and we don't seem to have added anything to the list. Let's 
Laggard Knights reign supreme over your campus. No hard feelings. Huzzah. Oh, missed one. A student union party? Sure, let's do it. I think we could use unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. Maybe some coffee by the reading area. here at Campus Radio. Just a reminder that if you have any interest in getting involved at the station, please do reach out. There really is a lot of airtime to fill, and try as we might, we just can't fill it all. We're open to news reports, reviews, and opinion pieces. Really just anything that will take up some dead air. Good night. Students are reminded are you doing any better? to find themselves. better. All right. Well, you're you're feeling better. What now? Where are you going? You need both the toilet and a shower, really. And a nap. Because you won't take a shower. No, you can't have an extension. You can have a film. Open day went well. Staff wants training. And let's make sure that a lot of our janitors can do security.
Those intruders, please not come in. <laughs> Just need more assistance to run these medical offices. Ha! Huh. Jousting track three. Very good. Work on. Combat Training Station 2. And also upgrade it. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Okay, invaders sent away. We will cure our knights with hurt knees. It's almost April, which means we can have our tournament. Student is still unhappy. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. What a park bench. <laughs> Life's checkpoint. Let's put some of these in places where they're easy to get to. Park bench right there. So Nigel Jiggle. Cheers, cheers. On two point radio. Salutations and congratulations on your exquisite taste. You're tuning in for the peak of sophistication on our county's airwaves, Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. But of course, you already knew that. Students are reminded that I'm not your mom. Alright, well, you should be able to get done at least some things that you need. We have a restroom here people can use if they need to. How are you doing? Pushing up your grades a bit. We seem to have won another jousting tournament. Huzzah!
Okay, well you should be able to tend to your various needs at this point. again. Announcement. Intruders on campus. Oh no. <laughs> Someone newly trained in security is immediately running after our invader. Catch up with anybody. It's time for Sir Nigel Reviews, and thanks to the enlightening intervention of our wonderful producers, you, the audience, have chosen the object of our desires this week. The public's collective wisdom has entrusted me with. Hog logs. I'm told a popular choice of breakfast cereal. Let's get this over with, shall we? Interesting. Interesting. It almost tastes like pork scratchings. <laughs> Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Womp womp. Got him. Okay, while they're out, let's queue up more janitors for security training. drop out. Looks like we could use some more janitors. Nobody's leaving. 27 graduating, 69 continuing. Well done, everyone. King of Hearts, 110 total student relationships. I would like to get a nature club started. Loads of research. And we get contribution to research, rising staff, Campus of the Year, Queen of Clubs, and King of Hearts. The well done, everybody. Wow. Didn't we do well? All right, and it looks like we need to expand further. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? I'm 
fine with letting Summer run for a bit, since that will make sure everyone has a chance to take a shower. Apologies for the abrupt end to our last segment. I've had a quick rinse and can commence with our review. The border of sweet and savory is, for some perverse reason, the fashion in fine dining circles, so I suppose it only makes sense that this would trickle down in some form to the food of the layperson. Congratulations to you, the common people, for joining in on this most foul of fads. Skills are non-transferable. Can we fit another jousting field? It's kind of cramped. Let's see if we can move this one. Oh, no, don't copy it. Just pick it up. Yeah. Put it there. And then it's... Oh, no, no. Copy this. Perfect. Actually, let's see if we can... We can't upgrade it anymore. This is a pretty specialized campus, so I'm happy to leave that as it is. of students on campus. That's right. I want to oh, combat training station is ready students to go. Are reminded to have the time of their lives. Let's upgrade the dragon tower. That will be fun. And let's put in that nature club. Spectral club. Yes, where's the nature club? Speed walking, book club, nature club. Let's put it out in the green area. will care for the campus natural side and help to keep it tidy and attractive. Oh. Congratulations. Research project complete. Well, I may want to put that in a more central location. Yeah, let's put it indoors. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life Jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. You want topiaries. Very well. We're Have this one. Got people signing up for the nature club. Ah, looks like we've got some decoration going on to the jousting track. It's about to be finished. It must have been there before. We'll see what happens when it levels up. Oh, 
There we go. It's got little shields on it now. The original game of chicken. All right, well, let's upgrade it again. And this one's probably... Ah, that's right. You need a jousting tournament in April. Well done. It makes sense to have it later in the year after our, after our students have had the year to practice. First aid levels. And let's see. Students should pretend that they're listening. This combat training station needs an upgrade. The etiquette training station does not seem to get an upgrade. We can move it. Nigel Bickleworth, your friend over the frequencies. I tried to get this next song pulled from the station, but alas, what can one do? Well, I can play it with the disclaimer that you shouldn't enjoy it, and you won't enjoy it. Here you are, some musical tripe. Only on two point radio. Here we go. What's next? How's everybody doing? Yeah, it's bottom of the it list. Works. Doesn't mean what you think it means. Get some tuition. This metronome keyboard. That's so cute. It's a lot of pyrotechnics for this little room. Nigel B. Nigel B? 
Who wrote that? Who wrote it? <laughs> That's the fire, right? Today I'm hearing that a production system to a certain radio station is getting the sack. Scandalous, I know, but you didn't hear it from me. See a bookworm. I'm gonna make another appearance. There you are. Gotcha. Night school. Level up a thousand night school students. Thank you. Anything else? I'm about to get a meta prize. Ah, oh, we missed an invader. More training. done with our dragon tower upgrade research. There we go. Uncle Dennis. Lord Blaggard wants to find out more about his enigmatic ancestor. He's willing to part with some kudosh if we're able to discover any details about this mysterious Dennis. Well, if you can't get ye flask... You at least might be able to find Dennis. Now I'm curious. Sure, let's do it. Research project complete. Aren't you clever? Upgrade the tower. Of course, we've got a lot of stuff getting upgraded at the moment. Maybe a while before we can get to it. Maybe one reason we had a hard time repelling the knights, our janitors are all busy. But in my formative years, I went through a gothic phase. I know, I know, it's hard to imagine, but to a young and impressionable Bickleworth, there was nothing more exciting than a flying buttress. And the gargoyles, so pensive, so lugubrious, so stony. Of course, I'd come to my senses and learn to love the provocative opulence and theatricism of the Baroque. We live and we learn. <laughs> Plagiarism is not a belief system. Oh, you had to leave just before it was finished. Oh well. You can see over here what it looks like when it's done, I think. More shields on it, I guess. of this.
Why are you dealing with thirst before you deal with that? Research project complete. Aren't you clever? Okay, but you're at least taking care of your needs now. Alright, let's research combat station. Achievement unlocked. There's always a hospital. I guess we cured enough people. Medical care. Cure a hundred medical issues. Good for us. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. Oh, we got seven invaders right now. staff dedicated to kicking out the invaders. Call me Auntie Bickleworth because it's time for Agony Answers. <coughs> Today's anguish comes from Patronized in Pebbly. My elder sister talks down to me. It's like we're still kids. How can I get her to take me seriously? Oh my goodness. Oh no, how dreadful. What a very serious and adult problem you have. My advice, grow up. And of course, tune in again next time. Ta-da! Hard work may or may be. Oh my goodness. So, apparently... Going around in fig leaves is part of the nature club. I must admit, I was a little taken aback by your treatment of poor Lord Blaggard. I didn't expect you to so gleefully humiliate your nearest neighbor, but I suppose all is Renaissance fair in the Realm Night School. <laughs> school. So we unlocked the Grand Joust, a new event, and an action film event. And the nature club people like interacting with the topiaries. Okay. So we need to get to campus level 20. We need our students to be very happy. And we need A grade graduates. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Grand Joust. Lord Blaggard had retired from jousting due to a lack of suitable competition, but with the rise of Night School of the County, he's keen to get back on his horse. Huzzah! And if you're just joining us, welcome to Noblestead, where it's all knights all the time. So, can we schedule this event? Not in the Grand Tournament. On one of the other jousting fields. Yes, we can. It's just not sufficiently grand, though. Let's save it for next year. Well, let's work on student happiness. Most of what I've seen is people sometimes have a hard time filling their needs. Like, mostly when someone has said, oh, I'm not happy. It's usually because they're stuck in class. They haven't had time to get out and do what they need to do. Let's make sure we've got some arcade machines around. Meat Wizard keeps sponsoring us. Let's put 
Put a couple of those in. See who's not happy and why after we clear this out. Night school open day, meet wizard report. Very good. Okay. Not happy and why. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. You know, we need a few more showers around, I think. buildings out in this part of campus, and it might actually be nice to put something out here. Just so people have a shower room. And people are hungry and thirsty and stuff out here. Let's see what I can do with making just a little building. Just here, well done. Campus has opened a new building. Good for us. Okay, this can be just kind of a restroom and shower room, so people don't have to hike too far to deal with those things. week we will be trying to see through the hazing as every club society <laughs> and group with matching hats gets together to welcome their newest members by well sort of harassing them a bit tuition fees may be spent on administrative purposes some sinks, got a hand dryer, we'll put in some towel racks. Okay, and now we can put in some food, some bins. satisfy some very basic needs in this little outpost.
Aha! Combat Training Station 3. Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. Indeed it would. Let's look at our awards first. Everyone's graduating or continuing. 47 graduating. Club is still most popular. The janitors are getting security training, loads of research, teacher of the year, three classes taught, 13 extra tuition sessions, 592 student XP gained. Well done. research thing. Maybe a better Omnicure. We can keep upgrading our combat training. Some of them are still being worked on from before. getting some of their needs taken care of during summer break. So maybe we can just give ourselves a good head start on student happiness. Week tip from our resident student expert, Maggie Watmore. join every club because I don't want to miss out on any potentially precious campus experience. Unfortunately, quite a lot of the events do clash, but if you make a schedule and run really fast between them, you can do it all. You might be known as the person that comes late and leaves running before the end, but you know, it's important to leave an impression. Research That's what they call... Complete. Aren't you clever? You're missing out. I think the new tower has like this extra shield and another banner. I don't think I saw those before. This little bit of bunting up here might be different. It's kind of impressive how they make the upgraded things look different, but so subtly that it's hard to notice. Okay, see, people are really happy now because we're letting them actually spend time during their summer. So we may just want to let them sit a little longer before we start the next year. So it's not like there's two dragons or something. No, if we wanted a second dragon, we'd need another tower. It's a small tower. You can't fit more than one dragon in there. University gives you a bright future. Let's give our nature club people some more topiaries they can work with. Hovering around 75, which kind of implies that it's the best we can do with what we've got. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Who's still sad and why? I'm mostly tired.
Okay, well, there's also no events happening during the summer. Nature Club students are doing their thing. Ah, they do a bit of janitor work. We're back with our initiation week special and how to handle it with style. Okay, let's schedule the grand joust. Initiation week provides all of us with a lot of choices, but I wanted to take the time to remind you that you don't have to choose any of them. There's something so overdone about clubs on campus, don't you think? Haven't we all had enough backgammon and volleyball? Fun doesn't have to be organized. <laughs> Announcement. The timetable is now live. Okay, student lounge party. Yeah, let's let's have this repeat every year. Let's put it in the bigger student lounge. Allotment. It is the bare and naked truth that I want one of these and I don't care who hears about it. Oh wow, look at that. It's fancy. Let's put it here. It's a fancy garden, but it's vegetables. Oh, let's turn it around. Good. A pea patch, yeah. But it's it's fancy, just like the fancy gardens. Campus intruders, please not come in. Janitors are on the job. Let's see if we can train some of our teachers in making our students happier. We can do that, I think. percent chance to provide comic relief. It can also inspire students. Happy thoughts just makes themselves happier. Let's, let's give comic timing to our assistants. Increase the chance that when our students interact with assistants, they may get a little happier. Let's start with that. Like a romantic film. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. It's all oh. February. <laughs> what? Come to an old foundation learning center and replace your mind with the power of the orb. Oh, amazing! I'll do that then. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 
All right, let's make sure people aren't flunking out. People are fine. How about happiness? Some people are tired. Let's make sure we have enough dorm rooms for everybody. If this is another showing of sleepless in Seattle, someone's gonna die. person's done buying coffee. And then I think I'd like to move the food kiosks. I haven't really had a lot of demand for kiosks here, but I've seen that the vending machine food actually does reduce people's health in this. So I'm gonna set up a kiosk here. Oh, it's a cute little menu. And veggie kiosk increases healthiness. Search hub, I suppose. Nice to find out that the utterly boring spherical topiary changes as peeps train it. Oh yeah, sometimes you see a bunch of nature club students come over and just change it again and again in rapid fire. Nice that it's a magical topiary that doesn't need to regrow. on campus nice radio me. i hope our collective wisdom has helped you in some small way navigate the extracurricular minefield and if it hasn't well there's always next year the administrator is reminded to stay hydrated student union party sure Oh wow, yeah, people are queuing up for these. And I think I'll clear these out. Let's put in a smoothie kiosk. should have access to better food now. Frequently asked questions. 
Yes, we are testing you. Defense, apples and pears. love the kiosks. They weren't requesting them, but now that they have them, they really like them. I keep giving you people these nice banquet tables. Why can't you just have a snack while you're in class? That is some primo medieval cuisine. You got a pie and everything. Keep on training any assistants who don't have comic timing. Staff are reminded to be inspirational. Okay, what's making people unhappy? You have rusty bulge. And as soon as you get out of class, you can deal with that. You're peckish and bored, which you can handle as soon as you're out of treatment. Hopefully you'll be smart enough to do that. Okay. Got an energy boost at least. Guess you don't like video games? Or you just want food first? There you go. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. So once you're out of class, you can actually take care of your needs. more people. Sir Nigel Bittleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bittleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. <laughs> we'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. Uh, let's see. Assistance. Uh, let's 
make sure that people who aren't qualified for the library aren't in there. means we could train some more people for the library. In fact, yes, let's let's keep you slated for the library, but let's train you for the payphone. We have tons of kudosh now. Should have phones in dorms. We actually did have some ancient landline phones in our dorms. There was even a, a little phone building somewhere on campus. Ah, we missed one. Students are happy, we just need to win the grand joust. Oh, and I think that should be happening over here soon. It's at the end of the year. that the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats. <laughs> In my day, one had to work for years making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts. The lot of them. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Let's see, who can we train with some more security? I don't want you to be ironically stuck in training while the knights are showing up. But I guess we can't ever have more than two people stuck in there at any given time. There you go. Yeah, kiosk food makes them way happier. Oh, there they go. A duck. They had it trimmed into a star a little while ago. Oh, here they go again. Star. Looks good. Is not a belief system. 
Ran Joust is coming up. Let's see if we can schedule something else fun before the end of the year. Maybe an end of year party. How much use this little outpost is getting. My darling, albeit slack jawed nephew Kevin, ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap in the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem <laughs> out of a possible five. Well, I suppose it's no not for everybody. Talking on campus. Thank you. I'm glad they give us a warning for the Grand Joust. Your finest students will be selected to represent the campus in competitions. Improve your courses to develop higher level students and see better results. Alright, here we go. Ah, now the, the direction of the flags is changing all the time, so the wind doesn't always go the same way. Okay, one wind for us. the joust against Lord Blaggard. Excellent. All we need now is to make people happy, and summer vacation would probably help with that. If it had been a while since I was knocked off my horse. I'd forgotten how much fun it was. I'll get you next time. Huzzah! Alright. Got our open day as well. Security trainees. Students are reminded to set reminders. It was hard to tell what the first two events in the challenge were. Well, it really was just three, three rounds of smacking each other with lances. Oh, here come the invaders again. What do we have on the job? Your whiskers and grab your briefcase because cat court is in session. This season, it's all litigation and litter trays. The Bureaucats. New episode every week on Bungle Pictures. Put some of you on Cat just security for a moment. Please not come in. Boot you off of some of those other tasks. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. There goes the nature club. I think we need another dragon tower. We don't have enough capacity for all the people. Oh, we can put another one over there. Ah, oh, yeah, and this is a level one. So, yeah, it's got no banners or shields of any kind. 
none of the bunting up here. It's very plain. Let's just see the overview. 40 feet graduating, 74 continuing, 84% for results, not bad. Research, cutting edge campus. Campus of the year, queen of clubs, king of hearts. Good deal. Summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Queue up some upgrades. The clock is frozen, so. Let everyone deal with whatever they've got to deal with. summer. Starting to wonder. No, yeah, you are. But time is advancing. we go. Achievement unlocked. Bachelor of Smarts. Your campus is so authentic in its execution of nightly life that it really does seem a few hundred years behind the rest of the county. You are blazing a trail into our immediate past. How progressive. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We've got a total of 12 stars. We earned 5,000 kudos and spent 2,000. We trained 10 janitors. We got the King of Hearts award. Good deal. Invaders is a bit much, it seems. But I think that shall be all for this campus. To the news and the controversy surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly blew his nose on official government documents. <laughs> the stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something? I know a witch hunt when I see one. <laughs> there's a fly in here. Well, there's worse things that could be done with official documents. Right, back to the map. Spiffenmore now available. And Fluffborough now available. So, what are our options? Here's Fluffboro. Develop the finest cheese ball team in the county and win the cheesy goblet. All right, that's one option. Or we have Spiffenmore. The Wizarding Academy is cursed with dilapidated facilities, a powerful foe, and of course, an actual curse. 
What, we can't keep a defense against the dark arts teacher longer than a year? What do you think, chat? Sports or wizards? Modern one. We just did a castle. Okay. An underdog story. Develop the finest cheese ball team in the county and win the cheesy goblin. Oh, do they have a losing streak? It seems the person in front of the photo never matches the campus that's in the photo. Precious, almost vague place in my heart. <laughs> Do I know much about it? Maybe not. But that doesn't stop me from holding it very dear. Yes, bats, rackets, and all those balls. There really is something for everyone when it comes to the proud tradition of sports in Two Point County. Cheese, Gromit. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Welcome to Fluffborough, the birthplace of Cheeseball, Two Point County's favorite pastime. The sport has evolved in recent years, now favoring lighter, less edible materials. But the inaugural cheesy goblet winners have been left in the past, never repeating their former glory. Every year, Cheeseball clubs from all over Two Point County compete for the Cheesy Goblet, presented by Cheesy Gubbins. And one team is spread on the crackers of history. Forever. Academic exercise is our course. All right, so our sports program is a subject like any other. Jumbo McAnally, oh, whatever happened to the days of grassroots cheese ball when the sport was played by teams with more cheese than sense? Those were simpler times when a big pile of money guaranteed you'd be better than the rest. I do like this modern style. This is looking more like my alma are expensive. And education is priceless. Now you turn up, and you've probably never even heard of Cheeseball. Ellie's right there. Honestly, it's people like you who ruin the game for wealthy owners like me. There's still time to stop. Don't play Cheeseball, trust me, you won't like it. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fun. Air conditioning gets boiling here. Oh, it really is my alma mater. Our students are sure to get hot. Place down air conditioning to keep people cool on warm weather campuses. Okay. New item unlocked, the aircon unit. Well, that looks familiar. Spend 15 course points on academic exercise. We get information about it. The world of sports may seem like it's all about scoring those points and winning those trophies, and largely that's true. But it's also about self-discipline, physical well-being, and amusingly named equipment. <laughs> Galadriel is going hysterical over a letter as old as yesterday's game. Oh my. Okay, first year. The competitive spirit. Some of you will lose. Oh yes. The one where you tell every student, look to your left, look to your right. By the end of the year, only one of you will still be here. Or the even more depressing variant. Look to your left, look to your right. If any of you is female, every single one of you will have been sexually harassed, at the very least, by the end of this year. Welcome to college. Mm. Right. Cramp, the importance of being limber. And there's more than one way to throw a cheese. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm DJ Shorts, bringing you small batch homegrown radio with the pulp left in. Here's a musical palate cleanser that's sure to wash that pre-digested rubbish out of your ears. See if you can taste the difference. 
Oh, okay, let's see. If the student intake is less than the number of applications, we will receive only the best of the student applicants. Okay, so if we want to let in fewer people but be more selective, we can do that. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What were, what were the others? Let's see. Heavy stuff. Weight training for massive moments. Freakish displays of athleticism. Day of the legs, a bit like jelly. Third year, a list of sports. That's not cricket. <laughs> Advanced tactics and stinky styles of play. And are we there yet? Extended cardio for ever. Grins. requirements. We need a cheese ball field, a lecture theater, and an academic exercise teacher. All right. Cheese ball field. Nine by 14. Let's make it a little wider. There's the door. Cheese ball field. Rare opportunity to play with your food. Okay, we've got the cheese ball scoreboard. Records actual, not moral victories. No, I've not seen your frog. Oh, it looks like there's already one attached to the field. Cheese ball bucket. Say that's a lot of cheese. Banners. Bungle banner. Go technicals. Cheesy Gubbins banner. Sponsors of the Cheesy Goblet. Flobtrotters banner. Go Flemington. Port Hogs banner. Go Hogsport. Jumbo banner. Go. No, I can't do it. Salamanders banner. Go Smockley. Where's our banner? Cheese ball machine throws cheese at the knees. Cheese ball dugout where they keep the morale. All right, well let's just set that up. Get this bookworm. Uh, let's actually move this back a little bit. I want to talk about an actor by the name of Roderick Cushion. Now, if you listen to popular thinking, you think. Now there's a guy who's given up on his craft. There's an actor that would literally do anything for the next peer check. And sure, I can see how you could think that. But you'd be completely missing the point. When Roderick Cushion decides to do yet another truly terrible film, he's making a statement about the nature of commercial cinema. Thank you, Mr. Cushion, for fighting the good fight. <laughs> Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. So if you're a coach, you've got poor personal hygiene. Maybe I'm not terribly surprised, but move slower than most, that's unfortunate. You have excellent personal hygiene, but you drop litter. And you move faster than most. I'll actually go with Ripper, Richard Champion. There you go. Alright, and we shall need some SoCal Sweets. strategy of putting lots of little bathrooms everywhere. 
one nice stall. Let's get those air conditioners in there. I never got an air conditioner in my dorm. Our sinks in. Warning. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. Where's the big ice globe when you need one? Well, maybe hidden in a menu somewhere. Where's temperature items? They don't seem to be giving us the same range of. different solutions. Let's get a shower room in here. Let's put this. Let's make it a mirror image of the other one. We've got a music review for you now. Over to Muggy, who's been to see the Boogie Nights. to the Boogie Nights concert, and it was great. The lights, the dancing, and so on. If you like music, this really was music. I do think the campus could do with some better signage, though. <laughs> I mean, I almost missed the concert, and this segment could have been a real train wreck if that had happened. Staff are reminded to care about students. What else? We're definitely going to need a library. Always need a library. Library reception. Oh, let's put the door in first. Reception goes here. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. There you go. And let's just get some basic bookshelves in, and some little study cubes with a view. Beautiful. We'll see what they need in a bit. someone with first aid in a place with sports. Mm, we'll get you a little later. And because people really like those, well, we'll save the kiosks. For now, let's just put in... Well, let's give them some energy drinks. I think people here will be really into that. New to the Crawley Student Range. Fish in a box. We at Crumley have been serving fish to Two Point County for over 10 years. It's a proud tradition, and now it's a tradition in a box. Easy to cook. Wow. Tasty to eat. Wow. You 
not sure what it is, but it's definitely in a box. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Can you upgrade again? Mm, let's not just yet. The academic year is starting. I hope you have a pencil. If we're going to compete with the county's cheese balling elite, we'll need to invest in the campus and its academic exercise course. Students should check in before trying to learn. Improve our facilities to support our students' cheese balling aspirations. Remember, there's no I in cheese, it's mostly just milk. Now taking students for academic exercise. There's I in milk. Jumbo Megacorp would be delighted to compete in your first cheese ball match. Don't worry, we won't go easy on you just because we're friends. What do we got? Jock. Keen on heavy things and timing themselves. They're just like everyone else, but more likely to arrive early if traveling by foot. Fun runner. Gets faster when they're happy. Socially extra. Okay. Of course, it would be a real shame if you lost so badly that you never play again. Just remember, for people like you, it's the taking part then giving up that counts. I see the bookworm. Education is non-refundable. Got your football stuff on already. Alright. Uh, let's get a club down. Oh, speed walking. You all will love speed walking. Scheduling a cheese ball match in the cheese ball field. Okay. Great new event. Jumbo Mega Team. The Jumbo Team is a dairy hurling goblet winning machine. Fueled by Jumbo McNally's vast resources and fondness for crushing others, they have become the sport's tyrannical, irritating standard. Who cheese could move like that? Alright, well, let's schedule. Let's schedule a game for. You know. I think the old Let him get in one class first. Too much criticism. Sure, there's some dodgy information about how they're funded, and they do talk a lot about the orb being the perfect ship. I can't be the only one sick of those adverts. <laughs> but really, what are they, if not a group of people coming together to appreciate some beauty in this world? Personally, I think we could all learn a little something from them. Skills? So we're learning about all kinds of sports stuff. <laughs> Tennis ball golf. That would be fun. Proper nutrition. Oh, that's a good thing. Quickly get this, as we say, gotta go fast as one can while always having at least one foot on the ground. Speed Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. A few of them out and around. an item we can place outdoors. It's the speed walking track. Yes, there we go. Bench press. Spot me. Develop friendships. Yes, I think...
jocks. We really enjoy these. And they're slightly off center. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. So let's see what this cheese ball business is like. We're gonna have one class before the game. Ah. Oh, it increases healthiness. Very nice. Get a first aid room ready to go. I have that sneaking suspicion. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. we go. Okay, it seems to be a silly variant of Ultimate Frisbee, which is pretty authentic, actually. doing well. We need private tuition. All right. Let's get a private tuition room in. Maybe a small one. And let's make sure we have... to provide it. Ah, here we go. People seem to be in official team gear now. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. <laughs> Risk of failing the year. Well, I think I know how this game's gonna go then. I got a goal. Oh, we got the scoreboard. How'd you get injured? Cauliflower ears. On Two Point Radio. It's me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, the voice coming out of your radio here on Two Point Radio. Isn't it a beautiful day in this little county of ours? Not that I know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. Students are well, we're getting clobbered, but it's kind of what I expected. So we're smacking the cheese with cheese graters. 
And then anyone who scores a goal gets shredded cheese on the other side. Aww. Well, at least they're being really sportsmanlike about it. You call that a cheese ball team? How very embarrassing. They made the sumptuous art of cheese flinging look strange, unnatural, and dairy free. You'll never sniff the sweet stench of the cheesy goblet with players like that, never. It was a tale of two halves in your first cheese ball match. Unfortunately, both of them were a total disaster. Attract better student applicants by promoting our academic exercise course. With marketing campaigns, alright. You get a marketing office. You want to complete one marketing campaign. A-grade academic exercise private tuition sessions. You need to defeat the Hogsport Port Hogs. Support your academic exercise course for improved results. Only your best students will make the team. Okay. Alright, well we've got one room. Uh, let's get... Oh. We're gonna need an assistant with first aid. We may need to train people. Oh, we can actually see the cold air coming out. A little mist there. Students are asked not to ask questions. So let's expand the campus a bit. Uh, okay. We'll have to watch for people with first aid. Let's get rid of the worst applicants. People are otherwise really good. All right, well, let's expand a bit. What's the, what's the area look like? All kinds of. If it's quite all right with you, sports I'd like fields. to discuss crockery. Any objections? No? Delightful. Yes, I don't know who needs to hear this. I'd imagine it's most of you, but plating is not optional. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shoveling chowder into your sockets. <laughs> shaped building. Alright. Well, I'm not necessarily stuck with that, but I can work with that too. That's kind of cool. You suck. Okay, Kylie Chopper will bring you in and let's get a mark to some money first. Uh, marketing, marketing, marketing office. Okay, big table here. Marketing table. Supports the project and its stationery. Marketing this desk. Make it properly ninja proof. Facing into the room. 
doodling board for the bad ideas. Marketing board. Looking good. Okay, start marketing campaign. Academic exercise campaign. Ah, if we want a video campaign, we need a green screen and we don't have it. Convince people of their own potentially non-existent athletic ability by putting overly congratulatory posters at the top of relatively short sets of stairs. Wow, nice one, champ. What stairs? All of the buildings here are one story. It's time for Agony Answers, where I solve one of your tiny little problems with minimal effort. The following is from Forlorn in Freshly. Nigel, the other day I accidentally left my dissertation on the bus. Could you please spread the word and see if I can get it back? Thanks in advance. Well, well, this is what you get for riding the bus. As for your request, I'd love to help you. I really would. But if I did, how would you learn? You see my dilemma? Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Let's get a cup for you. Worked in a hospital. Did you know? Some more of these private tuition rooms. And we'll need more teachers for them. Ah, you want a gym. Exercising around campus is too embarrassing. There was a place where everyone was exercising. Boy, wouldn't that be something? If you okay. Don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? Oh, a game. Basketball hoop? More than just net. Exercise bench, the floor is lava. Static bike, a poor option for commuters. <laughs> Another bench press. Climbing wall. The stairs are for cowards. What stairs? Oh man, look at that. There, that is a deluxe gym. Okay, now we've got I'll just plunk these around so even if people are in random places, they'll be okay. Please go do marketing. Schoolwork. Moron. Social life. Loser. Exercise. Coward. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jump up. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. Worm, totally saw you. Hmm. 
items. Okay. Let's give ourselves a rug. Tea and biscuits. And an air conditioner. We need a couple of air conditioners. It's a big room. Wanted. There we go. Uh, this library is only level four. We can improve that. It. I hope you were expecting me. Jasmine Odyssey? Well, I wasn't, but we'll make it work. Aw, people becoming friends in the gym. How's marketing going? Hogsport Port Hogs. The Hogsport team developed their trademark accuracy by playing in the strong winds of their seaside home. They're a skilled, salty bunch, but they're not at their best outside of blustery conditions. Oh, but we need to defeat the smogly salamanders first. Sir Nigel Bittleworth laughing at you, not with you, on Two Point Radio. We can all do with an occasional chuckle. It keeps the blood fizzy and the vitals convivial. So I present to you this next piece of music that is sure to give us all a good long laugh. We'll save it for next year. Administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. Thank you. How are your academics doing? Smogly Salamander challenges us to a cheese ball match. Well, it's gonna have to be next year. We still need Ugh, poor personal hygiene. You'll do for now. You're better than nothing. is non-existent and negative.
okay at those private tuition sessions. Bench down. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wasn't that terrible? Ah, I needed that. On the subject of laughing, and indeed needing, I see that many of our country's students are petitioning for additional reading materials. Frankly, I find it very funny. If you didn't already possess all of the course materials, why would you start the course? How bizarre. I guess cheese and cauliflower do allegedly go together. things a lot though. Academic year is starting soon. Was that anything we wanted to do? We're gonna need another cheese ball field. Which means we need space for it. We need another academic exercise teacher. central area. Copy this. Or we can just fit it here. There's a fly in here. Cheese ball field three. There's a second one. Let's have that game in November. Oh, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. And let's copy in a couple of dorm rooms. We really ought to have bathroom and showers next to the gym. Today 
on Sir Nigel Reviews, I was faced with the formidable task of critiquing the inventively named Chewy Gum. Yes, I am tasked with assessing the various merits and shortcomings of this interminable taffy. I like a jaunt and a jape as much as the next fellow, but I draw the line at such chewy vulgarity as this. Chewy gum. Thanks, but no thanks. You went to student union? Very well. Let's... Fit it in here. Staging? Not really. We're gonna need a bigger room for that. But at least you'll be happy with it. And we are in the black again. Academic exercise marketing campaign has been completed, resulting in zero extra student applications for next year. Oh, alright. Well, let's start another one. Oh, a wall air con. Okay, that gives us a slightly different footprint. Course. Only one prestige. Students at risk of failing. Let's increase the prestige there. And let's get people into private tuition. Planter wanted. Sure. Uh, that can go right in the middle of everything. Speed walking wheel. We're approaching the twilight of today's radio voyage. If you're just tuning in, then I am sorry. But like ships in the night, we pass for only the briefest of nautical moments. Perhaps we'll meet again in some distant port. Perhaps you'll get your act together and tune in earlier tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> I've been Captain Bittleworth, writing ships, dropping anchors, and running out of sailor talk on Two Point Radio. Ahoy! Level up 100 academic exercise students. All right. Well, that's something. Janitor needed in dormitory.
<laughs> All right, here comes the cheese ball challenge. Let's see if we can improve our a bit. I suspect we'll get our own banner once we've leveled up a bit. Yeah, we do. Staff are reminded to be inspirational. It's already looking better. There we go. Fine, let's schedule another one. If someone wants a smoothie kiosk, we can build it after the game. Finally doing well. Students are asked not to ask questions. Okay. Well, we defeated the salamanders. Now it's time to build that smoothie kiosk. Let's build it right by the sports stadium. Congrats on the rare, uh, congrats on the rare win. But you know what they say about one bad team beating another. No one cares. <laughs> okay, win one cheese ball match. about playing against Hogsport. Uh, no more time this year. All right, we're probably gonna need another field just to accommodate all the extra competitions that we're doing. people failing.
Felicity Bellbottom speaking for you, the students, in every sense, on Campus Radio. Up next, we'll be talking about power napping, comforting dream or confusing nightmare. Find out after That's this. Huge. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Barbell, climbing frame, crash mat, hit the ground smiling. Aww. There we go, level five room. We won our cheese ball match against the smogly salamanders. Good for us. is by the time they get to this point there's not a whole lot I can do still they're gonna be stuck in class or whatever event they're in and they haven't taken the initiative to use the stuff that I've set down them are kind of stuck someone using the climbing wall? Maybe you just finished. Oh, you're close. We can add cubbies. There we go. Rank five. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. There's no air conditioner in here. Looks good. To get enough sleep. That's why Campus Radio's very own Maggie Watmore has been trying out the latest techniques to fit some much needed rest into a busy schedule. That's right, I've been trying out power napping, the day's craze sweeping through campus like that fungus in the showers. For those of you that don't know, Oof. power napping, or turbo kipping, is a practice that allows you to sleep on the spot, grabbing some valuable rest time between classes. I think I almost did it for a moment, but then I realised I was 45 minutes late for a lecture. <laughs> but no, yeah, I actually feel really well rested. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives.
I'm trying to send you all to tutoring. Sports fans have invaded the campus. Uh oh. Hang on. Do we have anyone who can deal with this? We have one person. Move slower than most, but you'll do. Get on it! Where are these? Crazy sports fans. Jumbo student invader. <laughs> Grading at things. People want the textbook kiosk. And that's already level five. Really, we just gotta get through the rest of this year. College with no paint in sight. Hugh. <laughs> yes, the students at Fitzpocket Academy were supposed to be taking a class in oil painting this year, but their funding allocation has shifted, and so too has the earth beneath the feet of their expectations. I was lucky enough to speak to one student. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. I'll just take the class next year. The brave face on an even braver student. This is just another story of student funding crushing the hopes and indeed dreams of some fine art students. All they wanted was some paint. But for now, the funding has dried up and with it, the oil paint well. Janitor required in bathroom. All right, we've had plenty of people go in for tutoring. It's small for high prestige. Machines in. And a couple of many machines. Students are reminded to find themselves. some potted tulips very well. Thank you. 
Test announcement. Not a real announcement. some air conditioner. There you go. It's still getting an F. Extra student applications for next year. Very cool. Hi, I'm Jumbo McNally. At a Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. It's almost the end. Some of you are sort of able to improve your situation slightly, maybe. Can you get your homework done in a hurry? Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. How'd we do? Oof, three failed. But we did have the best clubs. Okay, well we've got some campus expansion that we have to do in order to improve this place. The yearly results are in. Not bad, I suppose. But it's just about six o'clock, so I think we'll have to leave this for next week. So let's just do a quick save. Pause it and take you to the stream over screen. All right, who is streaming today? Ooh, Playframe Plus is playing Cult of the Lamb. Let's go say hi. That probably means they finally got affiliate status. So, as always, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all next week. <laughs>